Hey guys, what's up? It's Greggles here from the Greggles and Dan Show on YouTube. How's it going? Today we're going to look at the awesome new Shield software update uh, for 1.2, upgrade to 1.2. ton of features, looks really cool, so we'll go over them first and then we'll uh, kind of put things in motion from here. So first off, you can see you can share your pictures now in 4K. Oh, inside in, they'll show up in the Photos and Videos app which is cool. I don't have a 4K TV, so I don't know if I can take advantage of that. Um, new uh, apps, looks like Fox Sports Go, Epics, CBS News, and CBS Sports are now available. Um, play newly released games. You can play Doom 3, Game of Thrones, um, and 1080p only on the Shield, so that's really cool. Um, Machinarium, I probably pronounced that wrong. <laughs> An award-winning indie adventure and puzzle game, so that's cool. All these new games. Other enhancements. So we got Shield Accessories Upgrade for Shield Remote for snappier response. Adds notifications for low battery on the Shield Remote. An optimized sharing experience for Google Play Movies and Netflix. And what else is it? Delivers enhancements to NVIDIA Game Stream and update upgrade to the latest version of GeForce Experience on your PC for the best experience. So that's when the game stream from your PC to your NVIDIA Shield TV. That is always, always a nice uh, an enhancement. Boost audio level for recorded or broadcasted gameplay using NVIDIA Share. Delivers enhancements for SD card auto move settings. So this is where I was having issues with. So this upgrade is super nice for this. I was, I put my uh, SD card in there and I tried to move some of my apps to it, but they would not move over. I had to like physically go in there and move them, press them, even though I had it so that they automatically go there. So the auto was not working. So it looks like it is now. Uh, improves responsiveness for select wireless keyboards. I had a wireless keyboard. I don't know if you guys watched it. It was in one of the other videos. It was actually the browser video and I was having super sluggish. So I will definitely try that as well again, see if that is fixed. Um, and that looks like it's it. So we'll start the download and I will be back, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. I have completed the update. It was about 653 megabytes. And on a cosmetic level, you won't notice really anything different. Um, all the menus are the same, all the, you know, Shield Hub, games, apps, all that stuff's the same. Um, you can tell that I'm on it because when you go to About, and then go all the way down to uh, Shield Android TV, you'll see 1.2. And uh, still in 5.1, which is good. Let's see, I'll show you there's no system update. So it's good on that. No updates. Um, a couple of things. So I tried the keyboard and mouse on uh, my wireless keyboard and mouse. It said there were some improvements with some keyboards and mice. Um, I can confirm that mine has not been approved. I believe I have an MK120, which is a, uh, a uh, Logitech, and that has not been improved. Uh, it's basically the same, I've noticed. Um, I was using, I'll try Firefox now, but I was, I was doing, uh, I was doing uh, Dolphin browser and I didn't see any improvement. So let's just load up Amazon. I can just, the, the I have a wired mouse and it just works so good. It's so smooth. There's no lag. So I can I'm moving this a little bit and it's just a tiny bit of lag. So I can confirm that has not been fixed for all keyboards, obviously. And they said it wasn't fixed for all keyboards, but it definitely wasn't for mine. Um, in terms of, uh, they said they updated the GE Force uh, PC games, basically streaming games from your PC. Um, mine worked fine before. This loaded fine for me. Um, games, that hasn't changed. So that's fine as well. I don't have a 4K TV, so I'm unable to check if any of that stuff has been, uh, you know, the screenshots and stuff works for that because I don't have a 4K TV. So taking 4K screenshots doesn't really relate to me. What else? So the SD card auto move setting, um, it worked before when I manually did it. It didn't, it didn't, and it still doesn't work um, automatically uh, like I thought it would. So. I had a, like I, I was seeing if uh, all my apps had manually moved over to my SD card, and they had not. And the way I can tell that just go by by going to the internal storage, and then choosing apps once this is done calculating. 
and you can see it still running on the internal memory system. So for instance, Badland. So if I go to Badland, see I can move it to S app, app to SD card. One of the apps I just moved now is Dead Trigger, and you can tell move app to device. So it's already on. The, I just moved this one earlier. So I haven't tried to. One of I tried to install a, a new app real quick, something small, just to see if it automatically goes over to the um, SD card. Just find a small app here, like a utility app or something. All right. These are all games, apps. Let's see. Tools and utilities. Uh, da, da, da. Why don't we just do Super SU? Just to see. So I'll install that. Device app and history. Accept. It's downloading. All right. So that has been installed. Now let's see where it installed to. Uh, see it? So it, it does work. See, as you saw, I don't know if you guys saw that real quick. It said it moved to the SD card. So installing new apps does move them automatically SD card. Apps that you installed before this update will not automatically move. So if you want to move the old apps to your SD card, you will need to manually do that. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. Storage and so go to storage and reset. Internal storage. Apps. And so I just downloaded Super SU just to show you guys that it is on the SD card. As you can see, it says move app to device. So that definitely works now, which is pretty cool. Um, let me do move a small app because it does take a little bit of time here. So I'll choose, uh, let's see. These apps are kind of big. I'll do this uh, benchmark app. So I click on it, move app to SD card, hit OK. So that's kind of cool. You guys don't look like it doesn't look like you guys need to root your devices to get that feature. And as you can see, it's now been moved over, move app to device. So it has worked. So it does work. Look, when you install new apps, old apps, you have to manually move them. Other than that, uh, let's see what else. Uh, audio level for recorded and broadcasted uh, gameplay using Nvidia Share. I did record something before. I wouldn't I wouldn't say to do it again. It's not that good on this. You're better off just doing it to a capture card if you're going to record. Um, other than that, um, I don't have the remote, the, the shield remote, so I can't verify the low battery or improve snappier response. Uh, overall, it's, I mean, any update's a welcome update. It's still working damn well. You get all new uh, apps and stuff, a couple new games and things like that. Um, so definitely download it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget.